Hey, Kentucky, <laughs> welcome back. Time for a game of Cringe Factor. We have help from our uh, wet behind the ears inquisitor of the day, Brent Wayne Scott. Thanks who for is being so here, young, Brent. he How doesn't young? even know who Max Headroom is. I can't is. even. I can't even deal with I'm, it. Right I'm now. sorry. I'm sorry. All right, Brent, <laughs> just go ahead and start us off with our cringing of the day. <laughs> All right, the Marshall County Sheriff's Department is apologizing and reviewing its procedures after officers conducted a drug raid at a family's home that turned out to be the wrong address. Even though the correct one was listed on the warrant, <laughs> along with directions, Deidre and Ricky, what's the cringe factor here? This is a really, really high cringe factor. Ricky, I cannot believe, wouldn't you just freak out? You're in the kitchen stirring up the brownies and in comes a SWAT team. <laughs> cringe factors, very high. Mm -hmm. And that's what these people get for using Google Maps. <laughs> to, to raid people's houses. Man, they lucky somebody to start shooting back at them or something. I mean, that, that is dangerous. That is dangerous. They are lucky. All right, make us cringe again. A Kentucky doctor's medical license has been placed on probation for five years after his wife was accused of improperly handling flu vaccines <laughs> and writing prescriptions under his name. The story <laughs> involves a traveling vaccination business that gave shots at workers at different companies. What's the cringe factor here? Lord almighty, that is the highest cringe factor. I don't want a shot <laughs> at the doctor's office, much less some traveling salesperson coming, opening the trunk and giving you a shot, Ricky. Here's some simple advice. Do not buy movies that are sold out of people's trunks. Right, right, Cameras right. move. I like that. And don't take flu shots yeah. out of people's trunks. Hey, I got these flu shots out here, $5. <laughs> nah, you don't want to oh, do that. Oh, buying watches Chris out of the coat. Out. I know, right? Oh, come on. Oh, my gosh. All right, here we go. What's the next one, oh, We're not going to make it through this second. <laughs> Kentucky's Department of Public Advocacy is now reviewing the practices in jails across the Commonwealth after reports that prosecutors were allowed to listen to recordings of conversations between inmates and their attorneys. What's the cringe factor on this one? Okay, oh, so God. here's my thing, Ricky, before you go on a tirade. Here's I'm what I'm going to say. Listening. Okay. If you're having a conversation with someone, if it's going to be your attorney, surely you have that set up in advance to have a private area where you can talk to your attorney. They can't listen there. If you're sitting just phone to phone through the glass window, as we've seen on television, and having that conversation, it's not guaranteed to be private. Far be it from law enforcement to follow laws. Oh, God. Let's oh, move on. Whatever. Let's move on. Let's move on. Oh, that's extreme. <laughs> All right, let's go, Brent. What's next? Some are concerned about President Trump's proposed changes to the federal food stamp program, saying about 40,000 Kentuckians could lose their access to SNAP benefits among three million nationwide. Is there a cringe factor here? Ugh. I think there's a huge cringe factor because I don't want people to be hungry in Kentucky. And, and that's a concern. And I think the biggest thing is one of the determiners, whether you're going to be able to get the food stamps or not, is what holdings you have, what belongings you have. And, and uh, not all those are things you can cash in and get the money for. This is, this, the cringe factor's high. This is a serious one. Mm -hmm. and, and it's personal, personal for me. I was raised by my virtually illiterate grandmother. You know, we, we lived in public housing in Atlanta, had food stamps, all of these things. And we were doing the best that we could. I'm concerned about how politicians are approaching the poor nationally and statewide. That, I that, agree. There, there needs to be. A, a I agree. I think we need to revamp that. Brent, yeah. one more. You got another one? Kentucky Congressman Thomas Massey recently tweeted about two interns on his staff asking whether he sh whether he should fire them for sharing a meme comparing him to a character from Netflix show Stranger Things. Is there a cringe factor here, guys? <laughs> well, I think my cringe factor for me is why does every politician have to hit Twitter to uh, get their message across? I know it gets it out there cheap and quick and effectively, but come on. Wh whatever. Cringe factor is, is nothing. Thomas Massey is a strange thing. <laughs> I mean, and, and somebody should develop a, a show. Attack. Somebody should develop a show called Our Cartoon Congressman, and he would be a great reality star. Uh, and it doesn't have to be animated. Oh my gosh! All right, Brent, <laughs> what else? Love you, Thomas. <laughs> and finally, Senator Mitch McConnell is taking credit for a four million dollar grant that will allow Essel County Schools, that's my hometown, to build a technical center to help create or maintain hundreds of jobs. Deidre and Ricky, what do you make of this headline? Well, Ricky, I'll tell you, I think it's fantastic. Yes. I am just excited for Essel County. I think it is fantastic that we're going to have uh, more trades, more people trained to uh, be productive in our communities, and we yeah. know that there's a huge need for that. Yeah. And I think this is fantastic news for yeah. Kentucky. Yeah, 
I have I've been accused of being divisive and being too hard on, on Senator McConnell. I say congratulations to him for creating something that is going to create more low-paying jobs while he votes against raising the minimum wage. Don't yeah. see that exactly bully, the same bully for way. You. No, I, I think. Love you, love you, Senator. Okay, there you go.